I'm going to use this Fresnel lens to focus the sunlight onto this small motor. This motor will not actually start by itself. I had to give the flywheel a little push to get it moving. Notice that it's rotating in the counterclockwise direction. This is going to cause a problem. The bearing that connects the piston to the flywheel is not secured to the flywheel very well. It's just sitting on this brass rod. Now that it's spinning in the clockwise direction, this won't be an issue. I've made a few of these little engines and have seen the same thing before. Sometimes the flywheel will work itself out of its bearing if, if it's spinning in the wrong direction. But if I stop the engine and change the rotation, it will ease itself back into those bearings. And notice how I'm trying to pan the sunlight left and right on the Pyrex test tube. Too much sunlight will actually cause the test tube to crack. I actually did crack this test tube, but I didn't notice until a couple days later. You may be able to see a little hairline fracture. It's kind of hard to see. The engine still ran well with a cracked test tube, so no air must have been leaking in or out after it cracked. Interestingly, if I apply too much heat with a propane torch, the wall of the Pyrex test tube will weaken and bubble up until a small hole appears and then the engine quickly stops. So too much sun will crack the test tube, but too much propane heat will melt it. These objects you see here are electric motors. I tried to use them as generators. I haven't had much luck with that yet. Here I am trying to find out the RPMs of the flywheel, but the tachometer will not work outside. The sun's too bright. I figure at its fastest this engine was probably spinning at just over a thousand RPMs. You see this small candle is causing the engine to spin at about 600 RPMs. I've seen a candle cause this engine to get over a thousand RPMs before. I'm going to upload a video with all the sizes of the individual parts of this engine, so check it out if you are interested in building one for yourself.